Hello everyone, my name is Isabel and in today's video we are going to talk about my sinkings funds for 2023. <laughs> Isabel and welcome back to my personal finance channel your friendly budgetarian so this is another one of those um, videos I don't show my face unfortunately but anyways I will show you guys how I am creating my sinkings fund and maybe for the I don't know for the future months to come I will show you guys as well you know my um, how am I doing with my sinking fund if i'm actually performing well or not so come along with come along with my journey so first off i just kind of want to show you how my goal setting planner looks like um so this is my title page and then the next page i just cut out um i just saved a, an image of the calendar 2023 calendar and like google images and then i pasted it on and then i just have this sort of like design here at the bottom um and first off i would like to show you guys what my vision board looks like i did create a vision board video um from the end of 2021 or the start of 2022 and honestly i i actually would like to create a reflection video because almost all the things that i put in there like came true so i really do want to continue on that so that's why i'm doing this so let me explain it a little bit first off is this car as you guys know i have been um not that i'm dreaming of like a new car or something it's really more of a necessity because i've had my car for a while now for almost I would say 10 years actually almost 10 years um and it has served me well it has served its purpose but i think it's time to say goodbye because we live with in an area with like lots of snow during winter and i just want to feel safe when <laughs> driving my car so that's why i'm trying to buy like sort of a an suv or a mini suv type of car and this one is particularly is a lexus car so i think i am on team lexus at this point we'll see <laughs> we'll, we'll see which car i buy you know and then the second thing here is a work from home uh you know it looks like it's in a house and you know very chill place there's a window right there that overlooks like a city or something so this is kind of my vibe and the fact that work from home is very very um appealing to me i am planning to um you know get a have a work from home type of job you know someday maybe within two years or so so i'm just trying to manifest it you know so obviously here this is a wedding picture of a bride and a groom and this basically is uh, myself and my fiance you know we're finally tying the knot hopefully no more of the covid stuff hopefully you know <laughs> um so that's that and down below is our shiba boys um just so cute pictures you know so in the background as you guys can see i believe this is mount fuji sorry if i'm mistaken but definitely does look like that and then cherry blossoms so obviously where do we see cherry blossoms in mount fuji so that is in japan so hopefully my fiance and i will go there travel there i don't know if that would be our honeymoon place but we'll see i'm just again i'm just trying to manifest it um the second part uh, the other part in here is this picture of a woman who's like eating an apple and looks like wearing workout clothes um so this represents me hopefully in a healthier lifestyle <laughs> i okay so i don't think i did as worse as in 
maybe in 2021, nor even in 2020. I think in 2022, I definitely have increased my movements, but not like workout, workout, you know? Um, I even purchased the like Mills, like the workout app. Um, they do have lots of workouts, but I didn't necessarily, uh, whatchamacallit, I wasn't too motivated, I guess I should say. <laughs> I'll, I'll put it that way. So I want 2023, I guess, to be the start again of my, you know, workout lifestyle. Maybe if I put it out there, it would be more, um, I would manifest it more basically. Um, but we'll see. And then the last portion in here, this is something that I haven't really shared to the public. Um, I kind of have been joking it with like my close friends, but as you guys can see, it says in here, core, pi core pillars of financial counselor training. So I was thinking ugh, maybe for my side hustle this year, um, to be a financial counselor. I technically kind of do it with like my really close friends to begin with. So I'm like, why make it, I mean, why not make it, um, you know, where I could see it as an income potential for me. So I don't know, we'll see. But there is like a program to be certified as a financial counselor, but you kind of have to pay a couple thousand bucks. Um, but it does kind of jumpstart and gives you more organization to how to grow it as a business. So that's what their model is or what their platform is. So I'm, I was thinking about it, but I'm not sure yet, but we'll see. Um, eventually, I will let you guys know on how I think it would be. <laughs> but yeah, this is my 2023 vision board. And I actually haven't shared it to the public yet, nor even in my Instagram page. But I think my word of the year for 2023 is growth. So I am, the word that I use for 2022 is manifest. And I think I actually nailed that word. And I know as cheesy as it sounds, having a word of the year sometimes, it, it does help for you to stick to your goals. So I was glad that I started it last year. So now I'm doing it again for this year. Hopefully I will be able to stick to that word. Um, you know, growth when it comes to as a person, uh, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, you know, and physically being physically healthy, um, growth literally um, with my fiance, who's going to be my husband. So in a sense, like I'm, adding into you know as a family unit basically um and then growth hopefully maybe for income potential and even here in my you know my social media platforms my youtube and whatnot um so yeah that's how i see that's how that is the reason how why i chose the word growth um and yeah just you know growth overall <laughs> So next up in here is how I am planning to, you know, write down all of those goals into a physical, you know, paper or, you know, my digital notebook. Um, so I have my financial goals in here and my reflections. I have already filled it out in my super note, which is the gift that I received from my fiance on my birthday last this year. Um, and then in there, I have my sinking funds. So now we're going on to sinking funds. So this is my 401k slash TSP contribution. So for the most part, each box is about $100. And again, the goal is to have a total of $22,500 of contribution. Um, I In my digital notebook, I have remove these three boxes. So this one is just, you know, having this overall is just more for a uh, clean look. <laughs> but yes, I did uh, remove the three boxes in here to equal the 22,500. So next up is my individual retirement account, which is the IRA. 
So the goal is to have $6,500 and each box is $100. Again, I'm removing this one box here uh, towards the end. And for the HSA or health savings account, so this uh, the goal is $3,850 and each box is $100. And so I'm removing this box right here and maybe half of this box right here. I will show these to you guys what it looks like in my uh, digital notebook. But for now, this is what the digital, I mean, what it looks like, basically. Okay, for travel funds. So the goal is $10,000 and each box is $100. Um, I think I've put in 11 <laughs> boxes here for the column, so I'm actually removing this one right here, um, and that's fine, whatever. Um, if I want to, you know, include additional uh, sinking fund here at the bottom, I can still. Um, and I think for this travel, um, this would also be for 2024, because technically when I was doing my uh, again, my 2023 conscious spending plan, I have already allocated to spend about $9,500, I believe, for travel expenses for 2023. And that is not including my sinking funds, tra my travel sinking funds. So we'll see. <laughs> Next is car. So my goal for that is to put in uh, $10,000. Um, so again, each box, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think this one is also 11 columns in here. So I'm removing this and each box is $100. And yeah, again, for all of these sinking funds, as I fill them in, um, basically that's how much I contribute. So then I can see visually how much um, amount I have yet to contribute. For wedding, so the goal is to add additional seven thousand dollars this is besides the contribution for my fiance and besides the the gracious donation from um, my future in-laws so each box is about two hundred dollars and then for a honeymoon the goal is six thousand dollars and each box is a hundred dollars um i think it's missing six more boxes in here so I did add it in my digital notebook. And then for holiday and house maintenance, um, I believe I put it in for $3,000 for each and each box is $100 to total that $3,000 amount. Um, and then I also have put in some, you know, blank page just in case if I, in the middle of the year, if I do change my mind, then at least I have that um, extra, you know, page for me to, to create another sinking funds uh, chart or table. So yeah, that is it for my uh, sinking fund in my 2023 vision board, as well as my 2023 word of the year um i hope that you guys have learned on how you know i have built all of these videos just to kind of show how i try to get ready for 2023 and then things that you know you you don't necessarily think that you need to plan on for the next year but then but then you actually need to do it so that's what I'm here for. I'm here to, you know, kind of show you guys um, how to get ready and then, you know, just uh, be prepared for life, basically, to be like an adult and stuff. I'm not saying that I'm somewhat of an expert on that area, not at all, but at least we have, you know, basically each other to, to guide each other, um, you know, as we go through adulting so yeah if you guys find these videos interesting or if you guys want to know more on how i do my finances please like this video subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and click the notification bell so that you guys will be notified as soon as i upload my next video 
So with that said, I hope that you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.